Structural integration is the brainchild of Ida Rolf. And Ida Rolf seemed to be very interested in, in the shape of people, how people are shaped by themselves. And she had some ideas that she developed over time for what normal movement and normal posture looks like. Looking at posture, all these before and after photographs, all the ways in which she was teaching people to look at the details of a body standing in gravity. What you're seeing is a person making an adaptation to standing in gravity. But it's not a static thing. It's actually the activity of a body standing. It's a movement. For both Rolfing structural integration and Rolfing movement integration, gravity is the central organizing principle. My favorite Ida Rolf co quote is, gravity is the therapist. And I think that everything we do is based on that. Well, gravity is omnipresent. It's, it's a relationship we have. Um, we typically don't think of it that way. We take it for granted. Uh, when we think about it, we usually think of it as kind of a negative force. It pulls us down. Um, or we associate aging with giving in to gravity. But in actuality, gravity, like any other relationship, can be cultivated to really lift us up, to make us feel stronger and more enlivened. And so becoming fluent in our relationship with gravity is really at the heart of Rolf movement. So by studying and by refining and by understanding all the factors that organize the movement in gravity, you know, you have yet another technique of organizing the connective tissue, you know, and allow person to, the person to have a, an expression and to change structure through movement. Rolf movement to me is a process. It's almost like an opportunity to um, slow down a little bit, slow down and explore movements, um, almost find one's own cadence. It's a time to, to slow down movements in a way that we don't usually get to do and to explore how we are in a different way. It sometimes can look like just breathing in a different way or moving across the floor a different way, um, but it's really that time to explore a different way of being. Rolfing Structural Integration has a 10 series, which is a brilliant way to systematically take people through a process in which one session sets up the possibility for the next session. Rolf Movement also has a 10 series format of its own. But in Rolf Movement, we often find that in order for people to really embody the coordination associated with each step of the series, we may need to work in some more depth with those things. Well, Rolf movement and Rolf structural integration are really aiming at the same ends, um, but they, really, they come from a different source. So when I'm talking about Rolf structural integration, I'm talking about a practitioner using direct or indirect hands-on contact with the client so that the client's receiving tactile information about here I am and this is what's inside me from the outside. And Rolf movement is really about having that experience come more from the inside, more from exploring my own self from the level of sensation inside my own body and then translating that out into a, a shift in the way that I am in the world. So they both head in the same place. In my practice, I blend them. I really love to blend them. I don't think of them as separate. Um, and I think students who come through our program and then go on to certify in Rolf Movement gradually get to a place where they do that as well. So we're always working for integration, for coherence, and yet sometimes structural aspects are foreground and sometimes functional aspects are foreground. When I, first a client steps on, on my practice, I will really listen to what are the needs that are there. It's very common that you have, have a client saying, oh, I am on pain. 
No? So how is it that we can understand this pain into many different levels? We really look through the lens of perception and coordination. When I'm standing and I'm walking, I'm relating to the ground. I really sense the ground moving underneath my feet. I'm relating to the terrain. What does it take to help someone really become comfortable with a new way of moving? It's not just giving them the possibility of doing that, but it's learning what that person's considerations are for trying on a different way of being. So what Rolf Movement does is it brings your awareness to those things that you've habitually done to keep yourself basically safe on the planet. How does it really feel when I sit on my tail all day long and sit at a computer like this. <laughs> and maybe I get up and that same pattern is in my body. So little by little you understand that some of those tension patterns maybe weren't altogether beneficial for you. So becoming aware of those subtleties of how I live inside this body three-dimensionally are going to help to alleviate some of the chronic issues that I carry. So it's an amazing thing sometimes for people to really begin to, we say, embody themselves. And when that happens, there's an automatic shift in coordination. Rolf Movement Integration is a way of learning how a person learns a new way to be in their body. I think for Rolfers and Rolf Movement teachers, integration is a vision that we have about the way that everything works together, body, mind, and spirit, really. So it's like a person could be thought of as an orchestra, and all the instruments in the orchestra have a congruent and harmonious sound. It's when we really find and feel who we are. Um, part of integration, I think, is embodiment. And embodiment is that, that time or that experience that we really feel into ourselves, into our body, our sensations. And those sensations tell us what's going on. It's the language of our body. And so I think when we become more embodied, um, we find more ease in movement we find more ease in that um, sense of who we are. The practical benefits of doing Rolf movement are that our clients are able to take the work and integrate it into their life. If we use the skills of Rolf movement, our clients are then given the tools that they can go ahead and continue to change their structure and continue to have benefits from the work in all of their daily activities. The practical benefits of Rolf movement are so myriad, so hard to describe because they touch every level of our being. We take you from this feeling of um, change in the way that you experience your body and the way that you move your body into your daily life. Dr. Rolf said we were educators as well as healers. And what we're doing is working with individual people where they are to begin to develop their awareness of their bodies and their internal state so they can judge if something is healthy or destructive for their posture and their movement. So Rolf movement can help with our other activities like Pilates or exercise in that we can begin to do those sports or activities in a way that actually supports our structure and doesn't do harm. By being using the Rolf movement, many activities can be turned into things that actually support structure, balance, physical excellence, and increased vitality. It's very easy to fall into the trap, the hubris of thinking that I'm a Rolfer and I change someone's structure. You know, it's not a magical, here are my hands and I'm going to make everything move in you. It's more, it's more of a partnership. To be a good Rolf Movement practitioner, what a person really needs is the capacity to, to be attentive to oneself and attentive to another person. You know, what is really great about Rolf Movement and um, 
and the way that we at the Rolf Institute certify and train people to be Rolf Movement practitioners is that it really allows them to be creative. We're living in a very exciting time for the field of Rolfing and Rolf Movement. These wonderful techniques, these wonderful ways of educating people about movement are now being validated because of the science of neuroplasticity. And now the scientific community offers us many, many examples that we can draw on to not only reassure ourselves that our work has scientific validity, but also it helps us refine our work because we can read about the research that is being done and we can see, oh, that's why these kinds of things that we've done are so effective.